Well, howdy ho, guys. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by for another episode. I'm Imperial Jedi. Today, we're going to be talking about the uh, subway, or the uh, metro lines, whichever you want to call them. I know maybe for some of you, subway is a restaurant, but uh, where I live, we happen to call them that. So I know it's one of those maybe potato-potato things, or I guess more specifically, it's more like a streetcar tram kind of thing. I don't know why that's always the thing, but anyway, that's just how it is. So our uh, city size, we're about 61,000 uh, people now, which is pretty cool. Getting there, getting big. And uh, I think we're just about ready now to start introducing some subways. So what I was hoping to do uh, was to alleviate some of our um, highway congestion, some of our in-town um, traffic, just a little bit more efficiently. So we've already got a little bit of um, public transit in place already. More specifically, you know, some pretty cool uh, rail lines right here, kind of lacking a little bit in everything else. So we'll be doing some follow-up episodes, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, no, our trains are doing a pretty good job. But we still have um, just a little bit of a buildup kind of happening on the, uh, the highway here. You can see it's not really bad or anything, but... It's just, wherever the merge points are happening, there's a little bit of that, you know, kind of bottleneck action going on here. So I want to just alleviate just a little bit of the traffic, kind of tackle it before it even becomes an issue. And then some of our in-town roads are just getting a little bit high with volume right here. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but you can kind of see right here, right? There's a little bit too much spillover. You know, in between our traffic lights, our intersections are essentially full, so it's kind of... Like we're, we're, we're almost grinding to a halt, basically. So when you're trying to pick a, um, a spot to, uh, to start running your lines, you know, kind of keep traffic, like that kind of stuff in mind. Uh, keep, you know, in mind where the high density pockets might be. So you can see everyone, you know, works here. They might live here. So up and down this corridor might be a good spot for some, um, you know, for some, uh, some subway lines. And then just to double check that, you can always take a look at your traffic right here. And you can see like this road, this really long stretch right here. This one's definitely one of the offenders. And so if we can, um, we'll get some of the people out of their cars into the subway over on this stretch. Actually, I think what we could do is, um, as you can see right here, this one is starting to get a little bit backed up. So maybe up here, not too bad, but this one's also just one of those really long stretches of road that just kind of goes the whole way up and down the city. So I think what we could do is maybe like a V shape kind of thing happening, or like a little bit of a U happening in this part. And then um, just above and below the highway, I want to have a line just kind of going east-west. So we'll pretend like up-down is north-south. So I want to have a line going east-west, maybe a smaller one, right around here. And then one going here, connecting to the island. And then we'll have our U-shape happening for the main body. And then for over here, I think we can do ourselves like a little bit of a loop or something. And that way I can just kind of show you guys some different options. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we won't run into any traffic problems or anything. I'll show you guys some tips and that kind of stuff too. Because, you know, even though we're just placing <clears throat> just a few stops here and there, it's very easy to get your your poor subways kind of backed up and all the tracks and everything. And then, you know, it's, it's almost like creating more problems, right? Okay, well, let's just jump right into it. Um, let's do the bottom part of this um, U first. We can actually start here at the top. Let's do it. So I've downloaded quite a few custom ones. If you have those downloaded, um, you're going to have to place one of these ones first just to um, kind of unlock the, uh, the tunnels and the... Um, the lines here. So I'll just place that here just as a reminder. I did earlier, which is why this is unlocked, but you know, just kind of get yourself in that habit, basically. And so in terms of how I want the tracks and everything to be placed, I want to be going downward like that. So we're going to go um, essentially like this. And we're starting here because this is a little bit of a transit hub. So we got our train link, spot for some buses to come through. Our trams are going to be coming through already. So there's already a lot of like, you know, people using public transit. So you might as well just kind of add to the, uh, the team right there. Because the goal of this is to, you know, get people to line transfer. If you want to, you know, come in by train, uh, maybe switch over to the subway, go down a few subway stops, hop on a bus or something. All in the effort is to get you out of your car. Okay. So that is that. We'll kind of cut through the highest density part of this, which kind of makes sense to me, I think. And we'll stop, you know, every few blocks or so. Just to make this efficient. There we go. So, I mean, just far enough that you don't really want to walk it, but you could walk it. And if you make them too close together, then the line, it's not really efficient. And then just like your um, uh, trains, like what we did in the previous episode, if you want to get all high-tech and fancy and stuff, you can have, um, you know, two stations in one area, you can have bypass lines, you can have express lines. I mean, that stuff, it's a little bit complicated, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, don't be afraid to try it, though. It's a lot of trial and error, because you'll notice you'll have to route um, subways just extraordinarily efficiently. So we're going to do kind of like an easy, breezy approach to, um, to the metro right now. But there are just like, you know, really fun, challenging options out there if you guys are looking to give yourself that extra, you know, extra little bit right there. Okay, so let's um, start cutting through. We want to start making our way towards our central hub here. 
maybe we can curve so I want to have the tracks just kind of already be pointing in the direction we want just makes the trains go a little bit faster through the um, through the area all right and then you can kind of see I'm not really following this road perfectly because there's already a tram going here we want to be just close enough that if we have a couple bus lines or whatever sneaking through um, then people will still kind of use them and then you know even here right people still can you know use the trams and whatnot we just want to just not really have one you know just one corridor that has all the types of trains and, and everything it doesn't make much sense right you want to spread it out have it all just kind of do you know almost an equal share type thing spread out the workload now I'm thinking so we have two stops already in our um, central hub I'm thinking we're gonna take advantage of that and maybe route traffic you know through here efficiently because we don't want to have this become a bottleneck like I was kind of saying a little bit earlier Okay, so we'll have that go like this. We'll have another um, stop over here. And I found the bulk of these um, custom stops in the workshop just under the Metro tab. Like, it's very, very, very easy to find all these. Some of the cooler ones, if you guys can't find them, I'll definitely toss you some links. That's totally no problem. Just give me a shout. Okay. And you can see, right, I'm not, you know, not too close, not too far. or a little bit closer, I think, than the... Um, uh, the train uh, train stations so you know in terms of um distance right so your trains will always have the most distance in between your stops and they should because you know in real life trains it takes a while for them to get up to speed you want to take advantage of that speed so let's get them you know going a pretty long distance and they're able to carry a lot of people so a lot of people long distance that's a great thing you know near your train stations you should should be putting your um subway stations right because the subway is same idea like you know like not really long distance right but they're able to carry a lot of people they get up to speed faster because they're a little bit of a smaller train so you're able to get away with you know faster or sorry shorter distances in between the um in between the stops but you don't want to have them too close together because then it's just you know you're not really getting speed you're not really doing much right and then so uh in terms of stops and stuff like that the trams and the buses those are going to be the most condensed and they're not necessarily going to be the most efficient you just kind of want them to be the hop skippers so that people can kind of just you know transfer over to these and just hop on over you know skip along type thing that's what i mean by a weird <laughs> expression here but you know what i mean right so you come down here switch over to this bus maybe take the bus a, a few blocks over here hop on the next subway or something who knows right all in the effort is to get you out of your car that's kind of what we're going for here all right now we did want one over here because we got the uh, train station happening perfect and then we'll now start looping around we do have this little transit hub happening so let's um definitely definitely take advantage of that i think this area is going to be a little bit reworked just because of how um you know everything's kind of structured right now but it's totally fine so we'll come in i'll kind of show you how we're going to be drawing the um uh the lines uh, the subway tunnels so we're not going to be making too much of a um a mess in terms of the uh the train routing okay now with that in mind i'm actually going to change this one over to a smaller one there we go so I want that tunnel pointing just in the opposite direction there. And I'm just going to go ahead and just rezone this. I'm actually surprised this is um, residential right here. This should be commercial. A little bit noisy with the uh, the buses. I'll switch that over rather quickly. Okay. Back on track. Terrible, terrible, terrible joke. Terrible pun. Who writes these puns? I, I, I always do these puns. I always say I'll, I'll stop, but I don't. Um, okay. So going now this way. Now, there's not too much high density over here. It doesn't mean these people don't deserve, you know, subway or anything. It just doesn't make too much sense to put too many stops over here, that's all. But we're going to have one here, close to these buses, close enough that we're still, I think, going to be able to do some um, line sharing. You know, I think, arguably, we'd probably have a better chance if we were to put our... Yeah, I think that's going to go right over there. And we'll just quickly put these back in. Excellent. Okay, so sneaking on up this way now we'll stop over here and this is a bit of a business district so we want to make sure we're stopping there people are going to be working there for sure and then you can see some of our train stations have the subways built in so that in case you guys are wondering how that kind of happened that's where uh that's where that came from another business district so let's sneak on over to here kind of going across and then we'll make our way back over to here and just because of the way this one is pointed, I might use this for an east-west corridor and um, have a separate um, smaller station come through here. Because this could be eventually a very busy area. So maybe we can go like this. And have... there we go. I don't want to have these too close together, otherwise we're not going to be able to route um, the lines through. 
No, you know what? I think that's a little bit, um, it's getting a little bit chaotic. We'll just maybe curve the, uh, the tunnel so that it comes in properly. Okay, yeah, that, that's, um, I think that's a better option. So I'll show you guys the issue that we're going to run into over there. Um, hopefully I can remind myself when it, uh, when it happens. And just a little bit of high density over here, some sporting stuff, so why not we'll put that there too. Okay, so let's um, let's just put in one of the um, some of the tunnels and get at least one of the lines going in, so we can at least talk about that. So um, not all of them are in place, but we got enough just to do our little um, U shape. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we go, back to the beginning. We need all these custom ones; it kind of messes with your list sometimes. There we go. Hard to scroll through. Okay. So these ones just a straight line, no problem. And then here, we're going to curve slightly outward, just to make our bend a little bit more gentle. I want to just kind of keep the uh, the speed pretty high. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, just curve slightly outward. Come in like this. And this is just so that we can stay on, um, so we're coming into the station, the, uh, the train stays to the right. So it just kind of flows with traffic. We're going... Just on the outskirts of that tunnel, kind of avoid our, you know, our previous construction projects. And then we'll just make our way down here. And these are gentle curves. You don't want to have anything too too sharp. I mean, you can do basically a 90 degree bank in the um, uh, in the subway tunnels, but your train has to come, you know, almost a full stop to do it. So it's not overly efficient, even though you have a lot of give and leeway with the um, with the uh, the trains down here. Okay, so start curving across, avoid those tunnels. Excellent. And obviously you want to pick, you know, the fastest route from point A to point B. And it's underground, so don't worry about being scenic or anything like that, you know. And so you can see right here, arguably we possibly could have put one more, one more stop. You know what, I think we probably should. Because the highway itself is, is pretty much a big blocker, right? So it's kind of hard sometimes for pedestrians to get from one side of the highway to the other, just in like real life and, you know, in general and stuff. But I think what we could do, since this is a little bit of a business district as well, is just sneak another subway right here. Arguably, it's a little bit close, but at the same time, we want to give people some convenience. So I think this might just be the closest I would possibly do these in real life, but... Nothing is really set in stone. Whatever you find to be more efficient. Because maybe this area is like super, super, super congested with traffic, right? Maybe it does need the extra little push or whatever. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we're not going to let the storm bug us. We're underground. We don't even worry about it. We didn't even notice it was storming until that lightning. Well, we did actually kind of notice. That's not true. Um, so when we're coming through like this... Um, I'll kind of show you, this is what I wanted to remind myself. If we come in just like that, the train has to come in, um, visit the station on this side, so the south side, and then leave. Uh, either way, you have to cross in front of someone. So I don't really like when that happens. So I was thinking about making that an east-west corridor. Or what we could do, and this might seem a little bit crazy, but it just, it does make sense, and it does make the trains go a little bit faster. Is you go like this so that traffic still stays, um, you know, in its proper kind of direction. Again, this just seems absolutely bonkers, and you probably wouldn't do this in real life. You'd have a more efficient signaling system, or you just wouldn't, you know, you'd have the flexibility to have your tunnel not facing that way if you had a train station. But, I mean, obviously in this game there's some limitations, but you could do this. And then this way it just forces trains to be on, uh, you know, not, not crossing in front of anyone. So even though if it looks silly, I'm going to do this, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. But, you know, like it just trial and error, I've just found this is a better, better method. Okay, so let's put a, um, let's put a line through here, because I don't think we're actually going to do... Um, I mean, when, when the city grows, we can delete this line and extend it. Um, just, you know, I don't think we're going to do anything else with that right now. So let's put this in place. Good, uh, good starting point. We can start watching some of the uh, trains interact as well. Oh, and you can see too, um, you can still pick what side to put your... Um, uh, station on, which is super convenient, like what side of the station to visit. I don't think you have that option with the trains, um, but even still with our other, um, like over there on the other side, it's still you're going to cross in front of people. So which is this is why we're doing the um, you know, the method we are, right? 
Anyway, just keep in mind that you're still picking on the uh, the outside. It's kind of going with um, with traffic. Okay. And then this line is going to fall back on itself, so we don't have to worry about doing one on the other side. Perfect. Okay. And then afterwards, I like to color the lines so that I can see, um, you know, where I've already been. And like, I think in real life, too, you'd have different color lines because it's pretty easy if you're like a tourist or something to be like, oh, yeah, take the purple line down to the blue line, switch from the blue line to the green line, green line to the yellow line. And then your friend's like, I'm colorblind. And then you're like, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, well, hopefully they're, they're numbered and um, and colored. But you know, you know what I mean, right? Just for, and for your simplicity's sake, too. So I like to alternate the colors. We'll do some pretty crazy ones too. So let's start with the yellow one. Yellow's not too crazy, I guess, but there we go. So the first of the subway lines, awesome. And then I have um, a transport mod running, which is why I have all these extra little panels and everything. Um, if you're running just a vanilla game, don't worry about this stuff. It just helps me kind of control a little bit more of the game. I've included all this stuff in the mod list in case you guys do want to, uh, to use them. I know this looks so silly. I hope you guys don't judge me on this, but I hope the logic is there, right? For what I'm, what I'm up to. If we, if we didn't like this, what we would do instead is just put another subway station and just force people to use that and just, you know, pretend like that didn't even have one, right? So we could do that arguably. I'm almost tempted to do that now, but you know, we just drew the line, it's okay. But that's just, you know, that's, that's your backup option just in case you don't want to do that, right? But I think just for simplicity, get people to, you know, hop right off the train right onto the subway. Okay, and it's underground too, we don't even see it, don't worry about it, you know? Okay, now let's start doing um, the island. Just so I can kind of show you guys a different um, style of, uh, of line here. So we've got that one in place already. No problemo. Um, okay, let's go down here. Perfect. Just mixing it on up. I should probably download some more. I kind of like, I kind of like subway stations. I like variety in this game. And we do have a lot of tram tracks through here. But we don't really want to go up you know, on the same kind of path as the uh, the tram tracks. So I think we're gonna go kind of this way. So let's put, oh, let's actually like go right here. So we can get that tram doing some line sharing. Look at that, perfect, yes. Okay, love when that kind of stuff just comes together. Don't know why. For me, it's the little things about this game. So we'll do it at the intersection here, just so we do get a bit of the advantage of the uh, of the trams. I don't think we need another stop in between here and our train station. I think people are kind of close enough in between the two. We'll put one over here, though. Excellent, that sneaks them over. Okay, yeah, that should be enough to do our loop right here. So let's um, put in our tunnels. And this one, because it is a loop, we're going to have to do both sides of the, um, of, the, uh, of the tracks. And you'll kind of see what I mean by that. I don't want that to be too sharp. There we go. Now here, just for you know, for argument's sake, I'll show you guys what it looks like when you're doing um, the lines that kind of I don't I want to say don't make sense, but you know what I mean. Like they don't really like what I was trying to avoid in the other spot, essentially. And you know, it probably shouldn't be too much of a problem over here, simply because this is going to be a smaller line. But I can just kind of show you how traffic would just kind of, you know, pile up and become a little bit of a headache, unfortunately. Alright, so we'll put in our lines. Create new line. And you can see over here, I mean, we have to cross in front of oncoming traffic. That's going to be the ongoing issue. But luckily, this is a small little line. There's really not too many trains coming through. And you know, even this one we can keep as the green. I don't, I don't really mind. Um, so the issue right now is that we only have trains moving in one direction. So if you want to go from here to here, you got to go the long way around. That's, that's terribly inefficient. So we're going to do a complementary line on the other side. And you can see there's just like trains when we were doing that episode. <clears throat> so you may not have to do this every single time. So I'm going to pick the other side of the station, just so that traffic maybe, you know, is a little bit 
a little bit faster through here, but this is just not the most ideal situation, especially if this was say like the main transit hub. But that's kind of cool. I think we're I think we're getting places here. Oh, I like this guy's good job. All right, so now let's connect our um, our island friends over to the mainland here, and I would like um, to have one subway station maybe in between the two. I think maybe at this, um, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, I know what we're gonna do here. So let's um, let's put this in. Well, hopefully I know what to do here. Uh, let's get that right there, excellent. Okay, tunnels. So we're gonna sneak through here. And what I'm going to do, instead of have the train come in and stop here, I'm going to put a separate station, which might seem crazy, but I don't want traffic to get too backed up, because we're going to have a few lines kind of transfer through here. Um, okay, this is where we're going. Perfect. And they're close enough that, like, literally you could just walk from one stop to the other. Actually, let's do that differently. And I'm, I'm just doing this from experience, because I find that the um, the tunnels, they just get so, so backed up. And I might be able to cross through here without causing too much traffic. Should be, yeah, we should be safe in terms of distance. You want to keep just enough room so that if the subway is queuing, um, it's not going to block anyone going through here. Because this is just basically acting like a little bit of an intersection, right? I don't think you can even control the... Oh, you can't control the height of the... Oh, no, I didn't know that. Well, you learn something new every day. Here I am this entire time thinking you couldn't change the height of the uh, the subway tunnels. Okay, so we're going underground, linking through here. We're probably going to have to move some of these residents out. You can see this um, subway station right here is a little bit too loud for them. So what I do when this becomes an issue, because we do have a lot of residents still living through here, let's take out just a little bit of them. Maybe that section right there. And I'll replace them now with offices, and the offices will create a nice big sound buffer around the um, the subway station. So let's do the same thing just over here, just that first little half right there. We will unfortunately see a little bit of a dip in the population, not the end of the world. These people will come back, we'll, we'll put in some new condos elsewhere type thing, but we don't want our residents to be complaining, you know, constantly being sick and stuff. That's just a strain on the um, social services too. Okay, so we have our way across right there. Perfect. We're coming up through here now. And we're going to essentially do the same thing. Um, we could stop at a station over here if we wanted to. Um, oh, you know what I want to do now, actually, now that I see it? So let's put um, one of these cool suburban stations here. It's like a little office building. That's kind of fun. Can I click this? up through here, cool. And then now what we could do is a line that stretches, say like this. Um, yes, 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 I like that. And then that'll be our little corridor that goes this way. Okay, cool. I think maybe what we'll do is a little bit more expansion on this part of the city first, because I may actually have this one stretch upward. We'll kind of see, so maybe we'll save that for as the city grows. So let's just maybe start this line now, keep this one a little bit on the shorter side. This is, this is not too bad. I kind of This is kind of cool here. Or if we want... Oh my goodness, do we want to do something crazy? I think we do. I think we do indeed. Let's just hope this doesn't create too much traffic. But let's try connecting to that station. Okay, so we're going to start a new line over here. And we're starting on the outside, so we're starting on this side. We're going in over here. Downward. Over. We're going to bypass this one, because that's what this stop here is for. And we're going to stop right there. And that's our transfer point for the island. And then our island dwellers, they can take the subway one stop, switch right over here, hop on a bus or a tram, you know, kind of move on over. If they want, they can stay on this, get to this central hub, which is kind of, I think, the goal for most people. If you notice, too, most of our lines are, are you know, either connected directly or make their way you know, indirectly to the uh, the central hub. 
all roads lead to home type thing. Nice turquoise color. And if you have these um, uh, lines kind of running, not lines running, uh, if you have these mods running, sorry, you can remove some of the vehicles on the, um, on the track just to kind of free up a bit of traffic. But I think I'm fine with, uh, with that. Actually, you know, let's just kind of sneak a peek at some of our stations. Let's watch the interactions here. And all we're looking for is our trains getting backed up in the tunnels. Is everyone kind of speaking, you know, with each other? And you can see who's on what line just based on the color, which is kind of cool too. Kind of like that. There we go. So line sharing. Guys, it's happening. Look how this is awesome. It's real. I love it. Okay, so the island seems to be doing well. This area, not getting backed up. It's great. Look at all these people, though. Oh, this is so great. Customers, potential customers. Look at that. So we just introduced it, but our uh, our subways are now the... Oh, never mind. That's the, um, that's the trains. I was like, they're the most popular thing, but they're, they're almost. Second most popular, I guess. Almost on buses. So third most. I can't even read my math here. Either way, we just put them in. They're making a great splash, which is fantastic. Hopefully we'll see this uh, number grow. All right, how are we doing for traffic over at these spots? Let's just put it on three speed here, just so we can kind of get a bit of a better overview. Ooh, look at that side, look at this. So potentially all these people would be driving. So I mean that right there, I mean it's hundreds of people, this is great guys. Look at this number increasing already, 720, yes, look at that. And you can see there's been a dip in the buses. So now some people are not using the buses, they're actually taking the metro. We may actually see a dip in the trains as well. But uh, no, this is great. Okay, so now, now that this has been running just for a few minutes, and you can see we've already got this many people, we should arguably now see a reduction in the red zones in the, um, in the roads where we put the, um, uh, the, the, the metro lines through. So here, I mean, it's still a pretty high volume, but I mean, the shades of red are going away which is pretty good. It's actually really good. And it's just been such a short period of time too, right? Our highways, I mean, it's still pretty pretty backed up, but I mean, look at this. Already getting better. Up here, getting better too. Island, not bad. Very cool. Very, very cool. And see, this is what we're trying to avoid, right? You don't want too many of these guys just kind of hanging out, waiting just behind the station. So I think we're okay for the moment. I just wouldn't link another line through here. I think that would just be kind of the breaking point. So keep an eye on that. Obviously, if you need to, delete lines, spread out, put in multiple stations if you need to. Connect your stations, you know, with walking paths, like that kind of stuff. Keep them close together. Have your buses, you know, kind of get the, um, you know, people in between the smaller areas where the metro and the trains and stuff aren't really, um, you know, aren't, aren't touching. And, uh, well, you know, we'll definitely have some more episodes. Like, I'll show you guys. Like, now that we have the subways in place, we got somewhere to start some more bus lines. We have areas for the trains that we have to get them through, like that kind of stuff. So stick on, you know, stick around. Um, we'll do another episode coming up pretty soon on um, on transit. I think we're just going to do a little bit more um, building just to have some fun with that. And I'll show you guys some of the changes I made to the harbor area and stuff. Because some of the assets I was using in the previous episode got deleted. Which is why it's unfortunately been a few days since um, uh, the last episode in this one. But everything is okay and sorted. Um, I've got an updated mod list for you guys too. There's a new um, one-way train track, so check that out. And um, yeah, if you're new, subscribe. We've got a lot of fun videos coming up. And uh, I'm still looking for suggestions for the city, guys, so definitely give me some, you know, ideas. Um, upcoming projects, we're going to be doing an airport soon. I want to do kind of like a three-mile island, so like, um, you know, some power production on like a little nuclear power plant, just kind of like off on its own. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun with that. All right, guys, all the best. Happy building. Hope this helps. And uh, yeah, drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one, guys. Take care of yourselves.